This is the third free response question of the 2017 test. And uh, this question involves uh, a class called phrase, which, which changes and modifies uh, a string, a string of a phrase. And it has access, access and it can make changes to that phrase inside of the class. So um, inside of the class, there's a private variable called current phrase, and the constructor just takes a string and sets the current phrase to that. So then you can change this current phrase inside of the class, um, but it's private so that it's protected from outside the class. Um, and it has this method called find nth occurrence, which takes a string and it takes an int n, which is the nth occurrence of the string inside of current phrase. So it's just going to look through current phrase to find this string. So if int n is one, it's just going to look at, it's going to find the first occurrence of this string. If it's two, it'll find the second and so on. Uh, it takes the conditions that the length uh, is greater than zero and that the, uh, you're at least looking for uh, an occurrence that's greater than zero. And it's going to return negative one uh, if this string is not found within current phrase. Um, and then it already has this, um, this ex accessor method, which just returns the current phrase uh, when you're trying to find the two string of it. Um, and then in part A, you are creating the method called replace nth occurrence, uh, where you where you are taking uh, a string, uh, the occurrence of that string inside of current phrase, and then a string you want to replace that with. Uh, uh, so you're just going to replace um, the the occurrence of of uh, this string with replace. Um, and if, if there are no uh, occurrences of the string, it'll just, the current phrase will stay as is. Um, and then it has some examples here. Uh, if you have a phrase, the phrase, a cat ate late, uh, and you're looking for the string at, and the first occurrence of it, you're just going to look at this at inside of cat and you're replacing it with rain. So it's just going to do a crane ate late. Um, yeah, so in part A, you're just going to create this method. Um, so I set it up here uh, with the constructor and the private string current phrase. Um, and we're assuming that find nth occurrence is just going to work. And since you already have find nth occurrence, you might as well use that to find, find the nth occurrence of this string. So you automatically just have that. Uh, and it's going to return the index of that occurrence. So we're setting int uh, the starting index to find nth occurrence of this of this string. So therefore, inside of current phrase, you know the exact index where that string is going to start. Um, and then I have this condition here: if the start is greater than negative one, uh, because if it doesn't find an occurrence of this string at all. Um, this method is supposed to return negative one. So if it is negative one, none of this will happen. And then it'll just keep current phrase how it is, which it says um, in the directions. Uh, and then if start is greater than negative one. So if it does find this occurrence inside of current phrase, uh, then we can then we can modify current phrase. So we're just going to set current phrase to the substring uh, from the start from the start of the whole uh, current phrase to this starting index of the thing that we're going to replace. Um, and then you're going to put in replace and then you're going to take the substring of the current phrase from start plus string dot length. So at the end of um, this string you're trying to get rid of and since this doesn't have the next bound this uh, substring is just going to go all the way to the end of current phrase. So basically, you're just you're putting in this replace, and then you're t you're you're just keeping the current phrase how it is before the string you want to take out, and after the string you want to take out.
Okay, so that is, and since it's yeah, since it's a void, it's just gonna automatically uh, change the current phrase uh, instead of just returning it or something like that. Uh, and then we are moving on to B, um, which is a method called find last occurrence, where uh, similar to the other methods, uh, it's just gonna take. Where is it? It's just going to take a string that is going to find the very last occurrence of it inside of current phrase. So when you're looking at this phrase, uh, a cat ate late, uh, and you're looking at the occurrence of at, um, there's three ats inside of this phrase, but it's just going to go to the last at inside of late, and then it's going to return the index value of the start of that string inside of it. So when going to the code, um, again, we have we already have find nth occurrence, so we might as well uh, use that method as opposed to what, what would have been um, pretty much redoing a lot of what the code would be inside of here. Um, uh, so when you when you do find last occurrence, the one the one of the things was that, um, if it doesn't find this string, we want it to just simply return negative one. So um, in our return thing, I'm just going to find nth occurrence of this, this x variable, which will just go through these n's and hopefully find the last occurrence. Um, and if there is no occurrences at all, this will return negative one for me already. So we are going to start with x equals one because... Um, find that the occurrence has to have an n that's greater than zero. Um, and it's going to just do a while loop um, because if we're just doing like an if statement per se, uh, it's just going to find the first occurrence starting at this x. Um, and uh, so we want to keep going. So if, if it keeps finding occurrences of it, we're just going to keep going to the next one and the next one and increasing X as we go until we find that at an X, there is no more occurrences. And then we will just return the X. Um, and we we keep doing this while at the occurrence uh, of X plus one, the X plus one occurrence, because uh, say if there is only one, if there's only one occurrence, um, we don't want to do a while. That x is is greater than negative one because if there's one occurrence, that will pass, and then we'll increase x uh, to two, and then again we're returning two even though there's only one. So we are just going to assume that this one uh, has an occurrence, and then we're going to look to the next one. And if say two doesn't pass, then we won't increase this x. And it's okay uh, to assume that one, just to have one go down to here, because um, again, if there isn't any occurrences, this will return negative one regardless. So that's, that is the whole problem, just those two methods. Um, so yeah, uh, that was, that is how you would do the problem on the 2017 test.